Retail Fast Track, Week 1, Lesson 2. When launching a new product into retail, one crucial decision every entrepreneur must grapple with is determining whether to start on a small scale or expand quickly. There are factors to consider, pros and cons to weigh. Today, we're going to explore those factors to help you understand which approach is best suited for your business. First things first, you need to assess the market demand for your product. Conduct thorough market research to determine the size of your target market, identify potential customers, and evaluate their buying behavior. This information will help you gauge whether there is sufficient demand to support a quick expansion or if starting small is a more prudent approach. The next step is to evaluate the resources at your disposal. These resources include financial capital, manufacturing capabilities, distribution networks, and human resources. Ask yourself, do you have the necessary infrastructure to support rapid growth? Or perhaps starting small allows you to effectively allocate and leverage your available resources. Naturally, financial considerations play a significant role in your decision. You need to determine how much capital is needed to support your desired scale. Consider the potential impact of a rapid expansion on your cash reserves and evaluate the potential return on investment for both starting small and expanding quickly. Now let's talk about competition and market dynamics. This involves assessing your competitive advantage and how it will be affected by the scale of your business. If you're in a highly competitive and crowded market, starting small and gradually expanding may be a more sustainable approach. You should also consider the scalability and operational efficiency of your business. Ask yourself whether your processes, systems, and supply chain can handle rapid growth without sacrificing quality or customer satisfaction. Starting small allows you to refine your operations before scaling up, ensuring a smoother transition. Lastly, don't forget to assess the risks associated with each approach. Starting small may involve less financial risk, but it could also result in missed opportunities or slower market penetration. On the other hand, rapid expansion carries higher financial and operational risks. Scaling your business requires careful consideration of these various factors. There's no one-size-fits-all approach, and the optimal scale for your business may depend on the unique characteristics of your product and market.